Fasting means abstaining from all foods except water for a period of time. There are various types of fasting. A person may consume only water during the fasting periods, or they might include sugar-free coffee and tea. In other forms of non-absolute fasting, a person consumes a very limited amount of calories. In this context, when we refer to fasting, we specifically mean fasting for around 48 hours, which entails abstaining from food and beverages for two days. One of the primary benefits of such fasting is easy weight loss. On average, a person might lose 3 pounds during a 48-hour fast. It's important to note that out of these 3 pounds, the majority is water and glycogen, and only about 20% is fat, with some proportion being muscle mass. However, if one does not overeat on non-fasting days, the weight loss becomes predominantly dependent on fat loss. For effective weight loss through fasting, consistency is key and one should avoid overeating on eating days. Overeating replenishes glycogen reserves, which bind water, leading to the loss of predominantly water and glycogen in subsequent fasting periods. Beyond weight loss, there are other benefits of a 48-hour fast. Two significant health effects occur. First, there's a metabolic switch from glucose to ketone bodies, meaning the body starts primarily using ketones as fuel instead of glucose. This process, known as ketosis, is essentially fat burning. The rate at which one enters ketosis can vary, for example, sedentary individuals may need the full 48 hours, as their glycogen levels are sufficient for glucose production. In contrast, physically active individuals who exercise regularly may enter ketosis in as little as 12 hours. Increased ketosis leads to more fat loss and additional health benefits from fasting. To enter a ketogenic state earlier, one might focus on a ketogenic diet, which emphasizes fats and proteins with minimal carbohydrate intake. Ketosis offers numerous health benefits, including improved insulin sensitivity, reduced inflammation, a lower risk of chronic diseases, and enhanced cognitive function. Another important process that occurs during 48 hours of fasting is autophagy. Autophagy is a self-repairing cellular process in which the cell removes dysfunctional components and digests them. This process is significant due to its strong correlation with decreased inflammation in the body and reduced risks of diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Autophagy also enhances immune system function, improving the body's defense against viruses and bacteria. Autophagy is linked with longevity or long life and an increased lifespan. Naturally, autophagy declines with age and is considered a contributing factor to aging. Additionally, autophagy is associated with a decreased cancer risk. Not only does it help in prevention, but several studies suggest that autophagy restricts the spread of metastases and aids in inducing apoptosis in cancer cells. However, it should be noted that in later stages, autophagy can become protumerogenic, aiding the survival of cancer cells. Overall, fasting is generally more beneficial than risky in terms of cancer prevention and progression, as most meta-analyses show that fasting for 24 to 48 hours offers more benefits than risks. The most important side effects of 48-hour fasting include temporary and mild symptoms such as fatigue, headaches, nausea, and dizziness. It's also crucial to remember that muscle breakdown is accelerated during fasting, so it's best practice to consume adequate protein on eating days, around 1.5 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight. Resistance training also plays a vital protective role against muscle loss. Optimal resistance training during fasting involves compound exercises that target multiple muscle groups, such as squats, lunges, presses, and rows. These exercises should be performed at least three times per week for about 30 minutes, 